It's time to start studying for my comp sci final. I think I'm going to start by going over my midterm and seeing where I went wrong there and then I think they posted some practice tests and then I'll get going with that. I went to office hours which were really helpful and then I just did comp sci for a while and then I did more work for the literature review stuff. Definitely a lot of reading. I have my meeting in a couple minutes. I feel nervous. I don't know why. I just do. It sucks, but you know, sometimes you just you're just nervous and that's that's how it's gonna be. Yeah, two minutes until the meeting. Had my meeting and it went super well and then afterwards I went grocery shopping and then got ready for the ride. So me, Molly, and my dad went on a ride. We went to the Seymour demonstration for us, and I kind of wasn't expecting to be riding on like gravel trails, and it was a lot, but it was still fun. Um, we got to see some really pretty views. I'd never like been around this area. I'd been on like the Seymour demonstration like valley trail, but never the forest. So we saw some cute little deers, then we got home, and we accidentally burnt the first pizza, but the other two turned out really well. And then I had a meeting with my semantics group, and it was really nice. Me and my semantics group ended up talking for like way longer than we had planned. It was delightful because we were just talking about like normal people stuff, not like school. And it's, and like, you know what? All of us are obsessed with linguistics and we all enjoy talking about it. So I don't really feel like that's work, but we weren't talking about the semantics of our project. We were just talking about linguistics, about stuff that interests us. And I don't know, like we even like got a bit more into like each other's like personal lives, which was like awesome because like I haven't talked <laughs> to a person that I don't know or like that I don't know that well about personal stuff in so long and it's like really nice it like made me feel closer to both of them like I got really lucky with this group because I feel like we all work really well together I have a headache unfortunately it's a hundred percent from dehydration so I'm gonna go to bed and tomorrow I have a big day of studying ahead of me and I'm also going on my bike ride with Courtney tomorrow very excited previously on the vlogs <laughs> Courtney was my TA in computer science three. 44. She just has like very good vibes and she seemed really cool and I was like oh I want to be your friend but then I was like you know what like I don't want to talk to her now because she's my TA and like I don't I don't know and then like time passes whatever she follows me on Strava and I follow her back and I see her Strava account and it's like this girl bikes so cool I don't know I'm really excited to go on a bike ride with her and yeah. Started the morning with some programming tasks then I did some work studying computer science like making progress but it's definitely not very fun making sure to stay nourished and hydrated i have therapy today so i'm about to go do that got a good amount of work done feeling good biked out to my appointment and i thought it went really well and it's nice to be outside got back from therapy it went well now i'm just getting ready to go out on my ride and we got news on the derek chauvin case that he was found guilty on all three counts that he was charged on which is amazing but it obviously like it's great but it doesn't undo like what he did and there's still police brutalities resulting in death that are still ongoing like even in minneapolis if i'm correct like the kim potter case of him killing like 20 year old dante wright is still happening so got one of them there's still a million of them left and i don't I'm not trying to be pessimistic and take away from this win because it is a win. It's just like we need to like dismantle the whole police in the States, but like also in Canada. Like it's not any different here. Did a laugh of Stanley Park before meeting Courtney at Maine and Union and we rode out to House of Funk in North Van. It was super nice. I accidentally cut the camera before she did her little wave, but we got some beer and rode out and sat at a park at Esplanade and just talked for a while and f we finally met in person for the first time after like she was my TA so it was really nice and I'm hoping to go on more rides with her later so I got home and had dinner and then did some homework. 
Good morning, so I'm meeting Grace at nine to go on a bike ride with her. Honestly, I'm feeling a little tired riding a lot lately, but I think this is gonna be a shorter ride, which is good. Next two days are just big homework ones. Planning on just being a lot of comp sci, figuring out this one unit that I really don't understand, and then also kind of doing the rest of my part for the semantics assignment. So I got on my bike and rode out to the Arcbutus Greenway. It was pretty nice. Okay, so Grace is having some bike issues, which I'm actually unfortunate, but it's all good. So we decided to go on a walk instead. We met up at Stanley Park and we got a quick coffee at Milano before walking around Lost Lagoon. And then we ended up at Second Beach and we were just on the swings and talking for a bit. This is her final goodbye fit. Back from my walk with Grace, it was really fun. It's just crazy to think about how different the world is gonna be once she gets back from tree planting because she's gonna get back in mid-July and assuming things go to, as planned, like we will be vaccinated by then. So that's crazy. Um, On a side note, oh geez, I've let my mustache grow out. I had lunch and then took a small nap before going to my lab meeting and then I finally just got down to working on comp sci. I ended up like making really good progress and then I went to my grandparents house to pick up some food and it was nice because I got to be in the sun again. Got home and did a small upper body workout before having dinner and then more homework. I did comp sci, did semantics and then I did some lab tasks. I know tomorrow is going to be a big studying day just to make sure I get everything done for comp sci. Other than that, I have everything done for philosophy and I did my part of the semantics project. So it's honestly just going to be a grind to make sure that comp sci is ready. At Falafel and Non for breakfast before studying computer science, I had a meeting with someone trying to help fix what was going on in my program. Unfortunately, we didn't solve it and then I went to office hours. Hello, so I am taking an outdoor study session right now. It's so nice out, it's supposed to rain for the next little while, so if I have to study, I might as well study outside. It was really nice to study outside, even if it wasn't super comfortable. Then I decided to just go on a quick walk, it was nice, and then I came home and I worked out for a bit, which again was nice, and then I went on another walk because it was so pretty outside and I knew it was going to rain. I saw a turtle and heron, so cool. I studied even more before Molly came over and we ordered food from Beatbox, which was super tasty. And I kind of just forced Molly to stay over because I didn't want to actually do my work. And she stayed till nine and we just talked. I was really avoiding studying at that point, but eventually I had to get back to it. Got a ton of work done. Okay, so I'm done for the night. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. I have until 12 to study, so I'll probably wake up around 8 and then just no review until the exam. It's at almost 11.45 p.m., so I'm going to be joining the Zoom call in about 12 hours. I had a good breakfast in the morning before studying and making my cheat sheet. Cool, so the exam is in half an hour, but I'm joining the Zoom call 15 minutes before just to make sure that everything is ready. At this point, whatever happens, happens. It's been a long ride. I'm ready to get it over with. It's not raining, so I'm hoping it stays like that. What, why do I even care about the weather? I'm staying inside all day for meetings and shit like that, so. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm sure it'll be fine. Walking off, I'll see you on the flip side. So I just finished the final and I think it went pretty well. I think it was fair and it was long, but I finished everything and I even did the bonus question and like who knows how I did on the bonus question, but like I put something down and I was able to work through it. So I feel really happy about that. And then now I am going on to register for my vaccine, which is exciting. I'm officially eligible. So I'm gonna do that. Hopefully this exam went well. I got registered for my vaccine and then I had my meeting with my supervisor and I rested for a bit before having a meeting with my semantics group. We worked so well together and we plan on hanging out once school stops. This was like all the stuff we did. And this is my mom trying to open a celebratory bottle for Seco. She's a little bit out of practice with opening them. No hate. My dad made homemade spaghetti, which was good as per usual. 
and I looked over my semantics assignment one more time before we ended up submitting it. Started off Saturday by writing a ton for my pragmatics paper. Hey, what's up you guys? We're going thrift shopping for him. Um, it ended up not just being for him, but we went to community and he got a t-shirt and some glasses. We also went to Cardam so I could pick up a birthday gift for his mom. And then I got this really cute slip dress and bandana. And those are the sunglasses that he got. And I, um, I decided last minute that I wanted to come to his house and visit. I completed more of my paper while he studied for his econ final. Then we took a nap together because both of us were tired. I didn't film it, but we had pizza for dinner. And then I played Super Mario on the Switch with him. It was fun because I haven't played any like Nintendo games for a while. Oh, we're watching Broad Green Tomatoes. No. Really? Oh, it's oh, a movie called Fried Baked. Fried potatoes. Please. Obviously, we watch Fried Green Tomatoes. Like, I wasn't gonna not pick the movie. And then Sunday, Turner drove me home and I had some breakfast and me and my mom did the recycling. I'm home and did the recycling. Drizzling outside. I haven't really done much today, but maybe I can work on my paper. I obviously have to edit the vlog. I haven't edited it since Wednesday night, so a bit of work to do. I just feel mediocre today. Just having a little bit of anxiety for unknown reasons, so that doesn't make me feel the best. Hoping and just being a little productive will help. So I worked on my essay for a little bit and then I edited the vlog before doing some shopping with my mom. I just accompanied her to go to Aria Market and Whole Foods. So then I got home and I started watching Mulan in German and then we watched the Oscars while eating our dinner. It was super fun. The Oscars were fun to watch. It's weird because the last time I watched them was in February of last year and that was obviously before COVID. Now I'm just at my desk chilling. Considering writing more for my paper, but I also like have a lot of time and I don't really see the, any need to do a huge ton of work on it tonight. I might as well just relax and then fit it into the schedule at some point next week. Um, just doing some editing. I think I'm gonna end the vlog off here. It feels surreal to have finished all of my exams. Definitely hasn't set in that I'm done undergrad essentially. Still have to do the paper, but you know, once that's over, that, then everything's done. Hopefully I can have fun this summer before my master's program. Sure I will. It's just hard to like see that right now because there's just so many restrictions with COVID. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.